Hey guys, Erica here. Today I'm going to go over what my must-haves are for when we make camp, specifically our sleeping arrangements, what I bring so that we stay comfortable over the three-night, four-day trip, canoe trip that we usually take over Memorial Day weekend. So the first thing I would say is that um, you need a compact tent. Um, in previous years, I just bought the two-person uh, dome tent that Walmart sells. I think it's like $27.90 something. Um, and that lasted uh, five, six seasons. The only thing that, it has a rain fly, so that worked out. The only thing that I would say is that it wasn't great for colder weather. We generally only used it in the summertime. Um, but last year at the end of the season, I bought a two-person, four-season backpacking tent, again from Walmart. It was just shy of $45, and this was the first year that we actually used it on the canoe trip, and I gotta say, I was really happy with its performance. Um, it's right here behind, beside me, and this is with it without the rain fly on it. So what's great about this tent is, first of all, one person can put it up by themselves. You don't need two people, whereas sometimes with the dome tent with the crisscross, you need another person on the other side. This, you don't have to do that. It's super easy to put together. Um, if you know it's not going to rain, it's wonderful because it has like a 180 uh, degree view. Um, it's completely screened all the way around it. So it has uh, doors on both sides so you can access um, either side. You can get in and out either side. And then what's great about when you put the rain fly over it is it creates, I have the picture here, it creates these little vestibules here and it's the same on both sides. So um, if two people sleeping in the tent, one can uh, access it from the one side, the one can access it from the, uh, the other side. So you're not like bringing in your dirty shoes and bringing in your gear. There's a little vestibule in there. You can put your gear in and then you can just uh, take your shoes off and slide into the tent and close the doors. It's really, really nice. Um, that brings me to the second thing that's a must have, which is a tarp. So you want a good tarp for underneath your tent that is for um, number one it's just nice to have an extra barrier from the ground to your tent um, lots of times we find camp in places where people haven't been um, and so we're just kind of like you know trampling over some areas uh, there's leaves and brush and stuff so it's just nice to put a tarp over all of that and then um, you could put your gear underneath where the vestibule is so love the tent definitely need a tarp that brings me to um, my third must-have which is an air mattress the first year I did this trip I just brought those foam mats and I would never ever do that again ever 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 <laughs> an air mattress is a must-have uh, for me and so what fits in this is a double air mattress if you get the dome tent the two-person dome tent a double air mattress also fits in that plus there's like a little bit of space for you to be able to put gear and stuff inside the tent if that's what you prefer if you want a little bit more room then I would suggest getting a four person the problem is if you get any bigger than a four person then sometimes you might not be able to fit your tent in some places that we end up uh, camping along the river some of these sites are just real tiny so it's just nice to have a compact uh, tent to be able to put up so that brings me to my fourth uh, must have, which is an air mattress pump. Um, this takes C batteries. I put it in a dry bag so I make sure that it stays dry. I bring extra C batteries. Everybody uses it. Um, this trip we had seven people go. I think there were four air mattresses that were being blown up with this and it took two sets of batteries. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea as to what you need. Um, to bring with you so this is a number one love this thing and then um, that also brings me to the double sleeping bag which is over here I have done it both ways I have brought sheets and blankets and pillows and then I've also done it with a double air mattress or I'm sorry a double sleeping bag it's just easier with a double sleeping bag um, you can get this for $45 on Amazon two-day shipping it's uh, that's what I did um, right before the trip it uh, it's fine it's lightweight um, it's not like anything grand it probably will last us maybe a couple um, seasons I did a couple years ago buy a double sleeping bag that was like it was very expensive and it lasted us about five years but it was really really thick and it was hard to put in a dry bag so that also brings me to if you get a double um, sleeping bag or you get a sleeping bag you're gonna want a dry bag for it so I actually bought this dry bag for the sleeping bag. It's a 40 liter. Um, it's actually one of the backpacking uh, kinds. You can put it on your back, not so important. Um, 
it served its purpose and the uh, sleeping bag never got wet. So that is uh, something that is a must have. And then lastly, I would say that the other must have is a tent light. This kind of just is also Walmart. It was um, less, I think it was like five something, less than $6. And it has a little hook, goes on the top of the tent and you press the button and it has a couple different settings. So it's really nice. I'm sorry for my neighbor's dogs barking, <laughs> um, but that's about it. That's the uh, must haves you need for sleeping. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be more videos to come. I hope everyone enjoys their weekend and we will see you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.